Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an exponential system. I call it a system because we have two equations, 3 to the power x equals 144 and 4 to the power y equals 144. So that is a system and we're going to evaluate 1 over x plus 1 over y from here. Obviously, there's more than one way to do it and I'll be presenting at least two methods. Okay, so let's start with the first one. So my first method is basically going to take advantage of logs, or should I say disadvantage in this case. Anyways, we have 3 to the x equals 4 to the y equals 144. We can basically go ahead and uh, take uh, logs here. Because we have 3 to the x equals 144, we can go ahead and ln both sides. That's going to give us ln 3 to the x equals ln 144. And we can go ahead and bring the x down. That gives us x ln 3 equals ln 144. Now, isn't that beautiful? Like by logging both sides with base e and any base is okay, uh, we get rid of the exponent. So now we can go ahead and isolate x from here. x can be written as ln 144 over ln 3. So that's the value of x. And we can do the same thing for y. So keep a long story short. We can ln both sides. We're going to get y ln 4 equals, don't ask why, ln 144. From here, y is going to become ln 144 divided by ln 4. OK, so we got two fractions that have the same numerator not the same denominator, but don't worry, we're going to be good because we're going to flip them and add them, which is good because then we're going to have a common denominator. Isn't that nice? Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look at what we are looking for, 1 over x plus 1 over y. So 1 over x from here is just going to be the reciprocal, which is ln3 over ln 144. And 1 over y is just going to be ln4 over ln 144. Beautiful, because we do have a common denominator automatically, we can just go ahead and add the numerator. So what we're looking for is 1 over x plus 1 over y. I can just go ahead and skip that for now and write this as ln3 plus ln4 over ln144. So I wrote it with a common denominator. So what's so good about it? Well, first of all, we can condense the expression in the numerator. Remember the log, uh, the rules of laws of logarithms, like if you have log AB, you can write it as log A plus log B. And this goes for any base, by the way. But you can also do the opposite, right? If you have a sum, you can condense it into the ln of a product. So this is going to become ln 3 times 4, which is 12. And now we're going to end up with something like this, which is a little nicer, but still not too nice, because now we have to work with 144. But notice that 144 is, let's think about it. Wow, it's 12 squared. Nice. Okay, 12 squared. It's good to know squares. At least, I would say 1 through 15, 1 through 20 is going to be better. But guess what? I just memorized 1 through uh, 25 and then 1 through 30. Uh, I don't think you need that much. But anyways, it's good to know this. I'm for sure 12 squared equals 144. But if you didn't, you could always factor, factor, and you're going to find out. Anyways, so from here, what am I doing? I can go ahead and write the ln 144 as ln 12 squared. And another nice property of logs pops up. And we can go ahead and bring this down and write this as ln 12 over 2 times ln 12. That's the nice thing about logs. You can bring the powers down. And this gives us a really nice simple expression. The answer is 1 half. But what was I looking for? 1 over x plus 1 over y. And where does x and y come from? Well, we were given 3 to the x equals 144 and 4 to the y equals 144. They were equal, but I just wrote it separately. So that is going to be our answer. And this brings us to the end of the first method, not to the end of the video. So don't go away yet. Let's take a look at the second method. So second method uses obviously a smarter approach because that's almost always the case, right? When I do the second method, it's going to be less painful. Okay, so now what can I do here? First of all, notice that 144 is 12 times 12. So can I take advantage of that fact in a different way without using logs? Okay, we can do it. How? Well, I am, I'm given that 3 to the x equals 144, right? So from here, we can raise both sides to the power 1 over x, right? But why am I doing it? Well, there's a reason, because I want to get 
something good from you. Okay, anyways, you, you'll get it eventually. So the X cancels out. Obviously, X does not equal zero. Y does not equal zero. Hopefully, we know that. So from here, we get the following. 144 to the power 1 over X equals 3. Similarly, if you work with these two things, we can go ahead and do the following. 144 equals 4 to the Y. Raise both sides to the power 1 over Y and cancel out the Y's. And you're going to get 144 to the power 1 over Y equals 4 from here. Nice. Now we got these two equations. And remember, 3 times 4 is 12. So why not multiply these two expressions? That's kind of nice because you have the same base. So that gives you 144 to the power. You have to add the exponents, which is going to give you 1 over x plus 1 over y. That is also nice because remember what we are looking for. We are looking for 1 over x plus, oops, oopsies, that's the answer. You're not supposed to see that, right? If you just came in. But anyways, this is what I'm looking for. So I need the exponent. So the question is 104 to the power what equals 12, right? This is what I'm looking for. And the answer is 1 half. Why? Because the square root of 144 is 12. Therefore, we can just write the 12 as 144 to the power 1 half. This is 144 to the power 1 over x plus 1 over y. And then from here, we can safely say that 1 over x plus 1 over y equals 1 half. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.